What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna answer the following question. If I were a software engineer looking for a software engineering job, and if I got two software engineering job offers, both identical, both for a position at the same level, in the same location, with the same compensation, that's very important, because if one had a greater compensation, that would probably bias everything. So if I got basically two identical software engineering job offers, except one of them was from Google and one of them was from Facebook, which one would I pick? That is the question that I'm going to be answering in this video. Now, for those of you who've been watching a lot of my videos or who've seen a lot of my videos, you know that First of all, I worked at both of those companies. I worked at Google as a software engineer for a little over two years, at Facebook as a software engineer for a little over two months, so much shorter, but I still got to experience a lot of things. And you know that I love both of those companies. I have basically only positive things to say about both of those companies. For anybody who is looking for a software engineer position, I would highly recommend that you try to get into Google or Facebook. I really love both of those companies. I loved the time that I had there. So all that to say, this is actually a very difficult question for me to answer. But as you know, in life, we have to answer the difficult questions. And so this is my attempt at answering this difficult question. So in order to answer this question, I have to compare both companies, Google and Facebook, on various characteristics to basically see is one of these two companies better than the other on multiple characteristics enough for me to basically justify picking that company over the other one, picking the job offer from that company over the one from the other one. So with that, let's compare a bunch of different characteristics about Google and Facebook. We'll start with perks and benefits. And here, truthfully, I have to say that both companies offer amazing perks and benefits. And it's very hard to say that one offers better perks and benefits than the other one. Sure, if you really look at specific perks and benefits, one of them might offer a better particular perk than the other one. For example, I think Google has a slightly better 401k matching than Facebook, but then you look at other benefits or other perks and you'll see that the other company is a bit better than the other one. For example, Facebook I think has slightly better health insurance plans than Google. So here, all things considered, I'm gonna say that they are equal as far as perks and benefits go. Now, some of you might be curious about the quality of the free food that Google and Facebook offer. I realize that free food is effectively a perk, but it's a very big perk, so might as well compare it separately. But here, once again, I'm gonna have to say that both companies are effectively equal in this regard. I know that some people might have slight preferences and say, oh, the cafes at Facebook are a little bit better than those at Google or vice versa. Personally, I found that they were both amazing. Maybe there was a little bit more variety in the food at the Google office in New York City, not in the Bay Area there. I think they're really equal. But again, here we're really fishing for something. I would say that they're equal. They do have slight differences. For example, Facebook has more mainstream snacks. For instance, they'll have Red Bulls as their energy drinks, or they'll have Snickers and M&Ms as their candy bars, whereas Google is more kind of like out there brands. They'll have not Red Bull or not Monster as their energy drinks, just kind of weird, like more organic brands, but really that's not a big deal. So overall, I'm gonna say that they're equal here. Now I mentioned the offices and the New York office specifically. If we're just comparing the quality of the offices, I will have to say that the New York City Google office is a little bit better than the New York City Facebook office, mainly because the Google City, the New York City Google office is just like an amazing office. It is just like incomparable. It is an 11 out of 10. The Facebook New York City office is also great. I would probably rate it a nine out of 10 or even a 10 out of 10, but it's not quite the same as the Google office in New York City. After all, Google's been in New York City for far longer than Facebook has, so that might be why it just has a bigger and slightly better office. But if we're talking about the Bay Area, I would actually say that the Facebook office there is a little bit better, like the Menlo Park headquarters, a little 
little bit better than the Google headquarters in Mountain View. But so, so far, we're still just comparing kind of superficial things, and overall I would rate both companies basically on the same level. Maybe with a little bias towards Google if we're talking purely about New York City positions. Now let's compare both companies on a slightly less superficial characteristic. Let's talk about the technologies that you're going to be using as a software engineer at both companies. Basically, what tech stack are you going to work on, and is it better at one of the two companies? And here, once again, the answer is it's kind of the same thing. Ultimately, let's say you're a front-end engineer, you're going to be working in JavaScript or TypeScript most likely at both companies. If you're an infrastructure engineer, you're likely going to be working in C++ or in C. I will say, though, that the more niche you get, in other words, if you look at your little niche of software engineering, for example, if you're a front-end engineer, if you look past JavaScript or TypeScript and you look at the frameworks that you're going to be working with, or the libraries that you're going to be working with, there might be differences there. So for front-end, at Facebook you're likely going to work with React, and at Google you're likely going to work with Angular. So if you do have a preference there, then you might prefer one of the two companies. Here I would say I prefer the front-end tech stack that Facebook works with, just because I prefer React to Angular. If you don't like writing PHP, for instance, on the back end, then you might not like Facebook as much as Google, because Facebook is heavily based on PHP, or Hack, which is their wrapper around PHP. All that to say that for the tech stack, it's definitely going to depend a lot on your niche, like what part of software engineering you are particularly working in, front end, infrastructure, back end, etc., and what your personal preference is. For me here, I would favor Facebook slightly. Now maybe we can look at interview preparation. What kinds of interviews do you have to pass to get into both of those companies? And again here, as you probably know, both Google and Facebook have very similar interview processes. They both give the types of interviews that we prepare you for on my company, Algo Expert. So if you're preparing for coding interviews or systems design interviews for Google or Facebook, do check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform. So as far as interview process goes, both companies are equal. We can now look at maybe internal tools, because once you're going to be at those companies, regardless of what part of the stack you're on, you're going to be using a lot of the internal tools that those companies have. And here, while both companies have amazing internal tools, Facebook has really great internal tools, especially related to their custom internal-only version of Atom, the, the text editor or code editor, the, the IDE, or a VS Code, that IDE. But here I will say Google probably wins this characteristic. Google has unrivaled internal tools, especially Critique, the code review tool at Google, the equivalent of GitHub outside of Google, and Code Search, the code searching tool, the tool that you use to search through the entire code that's been written ever at Google. I will say that Google wins in that regard. Google, like, let's put it this way, the internal tools at Google are probably 11 or 12 out of 10, whereas the internal tools at Facebook are probably only 9 out of 10. So kind of like the New York City office comparison. Okay, so now maybe let's look at the types of projects that you can work on at both companies. Are there more exciting products or features at one of the two companies? Of course, this is certainly subjective, but overall I would say that both companies are pretty equal. Both companies offer you the opportunity to work on projects with huge scale. If you want to reach a billion users or two billion users, what better thing or product than Facebook.com or Google.com? So both companies offer you huge scale. If you want to work on slightly more niche areas, you also can at both companies. If you want to work on internal tools or internal infrastructure, you also can. So here it's very hard to say whether one company is better than the other. Also here, both companies offer you a huge amount of flexibility and of internal mobility. In other words, if you don't really like your project or if you want to work on a new project, you can very easily switch teams, usually every 6 to 12 months, and both companies are very similar in this regard. Okay, so at this point I get it. You're probably thinking, 
Clement, where are you going with this? It sounds like both companies are basically equal. You haven't given us an answer of which company you would pick. Don't worry, I'm getting there. Let's move on to the next characteristic. Let's talk about the culture at both companies. And specifically here, I wanna talk about the, the transparency culture that both companies have, or rather how transparent both companies are. And here, yet again, I'm gonna say that both companies are pretty damn equal in this regard. They're both very transparent. In other words, when you work at either Google or Facebook, you have a lot of visibility into what's going on. You have a lot of uh, feedback about the entire company and its direction and all of that from you know the, the, the executives and from the VPs and all of that. I will say that if I really had to be nitpicky, I kind of prefer the internal Q&A with Mark Zuckerberg that happens every week at Facebook. I kind of prefer that to the one that happens at Google. At Google, it's called uh, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday, but it happens on Thursdays. Wait, no, is it TGIF or is it TGI? because it happens on Thursdays. Now I don't even remember. There's some weird like internal joke with the name. I forget. I can't remember right now. But the point is, it's very similar. I kind of prefer the one with Mark Zuckerberg. I don't know why. Maybe the one with Mark Zuckerberg I prefer just because you get to hear from Mark himself. And at the Google one, it's not always from Sundar, the CEO of Google, or from the, the founders of Google, Larry and Sergey. But yeah, I kind of prefer the Facebook one. But so still here, both companies basically equal, and we have not answered the question of which job offer would I pick between Google and Facebook. So this brings me to the almost final, probably the penultimate characteristic that I want to compare the companies on, and this one is going to have to do with team matching. When you join the company, how do you match with a team? And here we're going to get into some more interesting stuff. So at Google, when I joined Google, and I'm pretty sure that this is still the way that team matching happens right now at Google, you get a hire decision. So you pass the interviews, but you don't get an offer letter immediately. You get a hire decision, and then you talk to a few different managers, whoever wants to talk to you as a candidate, and you pick the one that you prefer. They have to also pick you back, basically say, hey, yeah, we want to have this person on our team, and that's how you join a team. So in other words, you join your team before having actually joined the company, before having even signed an offer letter, and before having worked with that team. Which kind of makes sense, that's probably how it's done at most other companies, but at Facebook it's very different. At Facebook, most generalist software engineers, meaning normal software engineers, go through what Facebook calls boot camp. There are a few people who join Facebook on a particular team immediately, and those are the exception, not the rule. So most people go through boot camp. And what boot camp is, is it's a period of time anywhere between five, six weeks and 10, 12, 13 weeks, where as a new software engineer at Facebook, you get to try a bunch of different teams, really a lot of different teams. You can try like five, six teams if you want, and you get to pick which team you prefer after having actually worked with the teams, you know, for like a week or a few days. I think that this is much, 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 much better than Google's process for a couple of reasons. First of all, Google's team matching process can be very stressful for the candidate because like I said, you haven't signed your offer yet when you're going through the team matching. So there's still this stress of, do I even have an offer? Am I even gonna join Google? And I remember I had a very long team matching. I had two months of team matching between the time that I got my hire decision and the time that I matched with a team. That was grueling. It was so stressful. I didn't know if I was actually gonna make it and it just wasn't a fun process. Whereas at Facebook, you're part of the company now. You've joined the company and during the first month or two months or three months, that's when you're looking for a team. But also the second thing that makes this really cool is that you get to try out different teams. You get to legitimately work in the code base of a few different teams and see which one do you prefer. And that is a great luxury to have. However, however, 
Repeat after me, however, there is a however here, which is that I will concede that the Facebook bootcamp process can be a little bit stressful depending on the type of individual that you are. For example, if you're someone who's not super comfortable being on their own, kind of doing whatever you want and figuring things out, the bootcamp process at Facebook might feel a little bit uncomfortable to you. You're kind of going to be asking yourself, what should I do right now? Like, do I have work to do? You know, do these teams like me? And you might feel a little bit lost. Similarly, if you are very new to software engineering, so for example, if you're a new grad, if this is your first job out of college or out of a coding bootcamp, that can be pretty stressful. Like thinking back to my Facebook bootcamp experience, if I had been like I was when I joined Google, straight out of my coding bootcamp, I feel like I would have been pretty lost at Facebook. Like I wouldn't have really known what to do. I would have joined all these teams or tried out these different teams, kind of like, you know, how do I even navigate this code base? I'm so new to software engineering. I don't know how to do this. And I feel like I would have been a bit more stressed out. Whereas when I joined Facebook last September, 2019, with, you know, two years of software engineering experience under my belt, or even more than two years, I felt very comfortable. I felt like this was the perfect thing for me. I could go at my own pace. I could dip my fingers in a lot of different code bases. I felt very confident and it was just an overall great experience. So my point here is that depending on your level of experience and your level of comfort with uncertainty and being alone, you might either really prefer Facebook here or really prefer Google. So on this characteristic, I can actually answer the question of the hour by saying that if I were a new grad or if I were someone straight out of a coding bootcamp like me, three years ago now or four years ago, however long ago it was, I would pick Google. I think that Google would be a better experience for someone who's brand new to software engineering. If I were someone with a little bit of experience, so like I was when I joined Facebook, I would pick Facebook. I think Facebook is better and gives you more sense of, of freedom and exploration if you're someone with experience who feels comfortable going their way. And so this brings me to the final characteristic that I wanted to compare the companies on. And this one has to do with the speed of work at both companies and just the speed of, of everything related to work at both companies. And here, I wish that I had had more time to work at Facebook to really experience it. But even from the short two months that I was at Facebook, I definitely got a sense that Facebook just moves faster. The whole, you know, motto, whether it's unofficial or official of move fast and break things did very much feel real at Facebook. And if you are someone who likes that, if you are someone who is a little bit more into moving fast and into, you know, kind of taking initiative and doing something outside the box or whatever, you might prefer Facebook's engineering culture and general product culture. If you're someone who's more comfortable with processes and rigor and that kind of stuff, then Google might be more appealing. So those are all of the characteristics that I wanted to compare Google and Facebook on. Ultimately, the last thing that I'll leave you with is that, like I said at the beginning of the videos, both companies are fantastic and you really can't go wrong with either of them. But if you are someone with no experience, Google might be a little bit safer, might feel a little bit safer, might feel a little more welcoming. Whereas if you are someone with experience or with a penchant for moving fast and taking more risks or taking more responsibility, then Facebook might be a tiny bit more up your alley. You can still do all of those things or you know foster all of those personality traits, whatever you wanna call it, at Google, but I think Facebook lends itself a little bit better to that. I hope that this video was informative. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Do it now. If you enjoy short form written content, follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoy pictures, follow me on Instagram, and otherwise I will see you in the next video.